Here I am in the mask example again, um, and I'm just gonna show you how to create a total score. This is a sum score, but you could use the same idea to calculate you know, an average score or whatever you need to do. Um, so for this example, I have an independent variable that has been created already here. Um, but what I need to do is I, I need to combine um, two different sets of scores into one column. So I have people who were assigned to the no mask condition. And so that's questions um, A1 through five for this no mask attractiveness. And I want that score to be added together for everybody who was in that condition. But I also have the same score, but for people in the um, no mask or for the mask conditions, so that, that was the no mask initially, and this is the mask condition. So now I need to create scores for the people that were in that condition. So you can see here that um, this mask indicates that they answered these questions, but I want everybody to have a total score and I just want it in one column to make it a lot more simple. So I'm gonna use an if statement to do that. You can click here, you can either double click into this and say that you're gonna create a new computed variable, or you could just go ahead and add here. So I'm gonna say add, and I'm going to um, add a computed variable. So uh, again, add, and it's having me append it, which means add it to the end of the um, add it to the end of the data set. So that's what we're doing here. Um, and if I click into this, the first thing I want to do is give it a new name. So I'm going to call this dependent variable, and this is attractiveness. So this is the attractiveness total score. You could call it total, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to say that this is the total of five attractiveness conditions. Oh, questions. Across two conditions. Now, what I want to do, logically speaking, I want to create a total score that if they were in the no mask condition comes from those five questions here. And if they were in the mask condition, I want it to come from these five questions here. Um, because the problem is that if I just try and add across, um, it will end up blank because there's missing values for some of them. So I'm going to use an if statement. It's a logical um, statement. I'm going to say if, and then I'm going to use a parenthesis. So I'm going to say if the independent variable so that's IV, so I'm using the exact name that I gave it here, which is IV. So I'm gonna say if IV equals equals, so you're gonna use equal equals for Jamovi to indicate that it equals. We're gonna, I'm gonna start with no mask because that's first. So I'm gonna say no mask and I'm gonna use quotations. So um, quotations, no mask, because that needs to ma ma match exactly what I have in this column, which is um, no space mask. It is a word, it is not a number, so that's why we're using quotations. So if the independent variable equals no mask, comma, then I want it to create a sum, so I'm gonna say sum and then parenthesis of, and I'm gonna click into this formula editor, I'm gonna use all of the no mask attractiveness questions here. So the easiest thing to do is to make sure I'm at the end of this um, sentence right here that I'm writing out. And I'm gonna say, I wanna use this one. So I'm gonna double click on that. You could type it out, but you're a lot more um, prone to error there. And then I'm gonna click on the next one and do another comma. So I'm just doing a comma between these, just like I would if I were working in Excel or Sheets. And then another double click and a comma, double click and a comma, and a double click. Now I have all five of my questions in here that are for the no mask condition. So I'm going to then end that parenthesis. And then um, I wanna tell it what to do if it doesn't equal no mask. So I just told it what to do if it equaled no mask. Now, if it doesn't equal no mask, that means that it equals mask. So I will say sum, and I'm gonna do with some of the other ones. So sum of A1 mask, comma, two, comma, double click on three, comma, double click on four, comma, and double click on five. And then that's gonna be the end. And then I'm gonna show you what happens if you don't, um, if you don't put enough parentheses. So if I click out of this, it says the formula is misspecified. What's happening here is that you need to have an equal number of opening parentheses as you do of closing. So if I add another one here, that goes away. 
and notice that it automatically calculated for me. Now, what it's gonna do is it's gonna skip um, anyone that didn't complete it. So let's see, like this person, they were in the mask condition. So they were supposed to answer these five questions. They didn't answer one. So that makes their um, score blank rather than making it artificially low since they skipped a question. So that's a choice we're making as a researcher. There's other ways to deal with missing data, but this is the way that I'm gonna have you use for this class. And so this means that this variable is ready for you to use. And then your next step is that you're gonna add filtering. Um, so again, this allows you to create one single dependent variable um, from multiple conditions. And that is all I have for you here. And again, your next step should be that you're going to add some filters.